There you go. So I upgraded my head tracking setup just recently, as in right now. Um, I'm using FreeTrack, which hooks into a camera, webcam of any sort. In this case, it's a remote, and um, tracks the dots produced by either infrared LEDs or the refract reflections from infrared LEDs, and translates that into movement of a virtual head. And you can set up um, response curves in there, so if you, like me, don't want a huge response in the yaw, but want something significant in the pitch, then you can set up the curves such that they behave as you expect. If you want like a little bit of dead band around the middle, but as you get further out, it gets more extreme, then that's pretty easy to do. Um, my setup consists of this dorky looking thing attached to the side of my um, headphones here. It's got three pieces of retro reflective tape, uh, which basically take the lights coming into them and bounce it straight back out exactly where it came from. Uh, in this case, they're reflecting the infrared light coming out of that infrared LED array there, which is attached to a bit of perf board. Um, that cable there is a butchered USB cable that runs down to the back of my computer, which provides 5 volts. Um, there are four 1 ohm resistors in there, and then they're arranged in four sets of um, four in series. So it's four sets of resistor, lead, 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 lead. Um, there are in there a set of three diodes that um, simply join to the 5 volt rail and daisy chain down, which produces three point ish volts to run my Wiimote. And you can see there's some wires unceremoniously jammed in the back there. Um, it's held on the top of my monitor by this uh, coat hanger arrangement here. Um, it's quite sturdy, but I've had to add this elastic strap down the back here to damp down the vibrations. Otherwise, if I wobble my desk, it will oscillate up and down like that for a while. But with that in place, it damps the oscill oscillations pretty quickly. And that's a big problem if your pilot's head is wobbling up and down because you bump the desk because you can't fly with it down. Um, but that's pretty much it. I've ditched my old head tracking setup, which was this one, um, which goes all the way around your head. I had three in a um, triangular arrangement like that. Um, that was pretty cumbersome and um, no worse than the one I'm presently using. There's a couple of different models you can select. A single point if you only want two degrees of freedom, so it's up, down, left, right. This one can also do translation. So you can lean out the side of your cockpit if you so desire, and if you've got your canopy open, or if the simulator supports it. And so you can do either three-point clip, which is what I'm using now, or the three-point cap, which is the one I had, which was yeah, pretty pretty. And you just plug the dimensions of your particular clip in here, and um, you're good to go. Uh, you can buy commercial things like this off the shelf, but they cost, like, lots of money. I don't know how much, but like 200 plus because they're a fairly niche item and people who sell stuff to flight sim enthusiasts generally charge as much as they possibly can because us sorts have way too much money, typically. Um, but this one was made for the cost of a Wiimote, some LEDs, some resistors, a bit of perf board, and some retro reflective tape and a bit of coat hanger. Oh, and a dog clip. Did you?